No, just another way to organize. Yep. Uh, let's see. Sure. Okay. Let me make sure I'm still all within the camera here. So there's the full area. We're going to stay fully within it. This is all quadrilaterals. Now within the quadrilateral group, we said we had three subgroups. We had trapezoids, which were over by themselves. And we said that was having one pair of parallel sides. And then we had two more types of quadrilaterals. We had parallelograms. Parallelogram. And that was having two pair of parallel sides. And we also had kites. And kites have two pair of consecutive congruent sides. Now I drew that that way on purpose because I know ahead of time that there is an overlap here. If I look back at the um, the diagram, my, my tree diagram, look real quick, what's the overlap between parallelograms and kites? Rhombus. So that's what I'll label this thing right in here is a rhombus, which has four congruent sides. So the idea behind the Venn diagram setup, Venn diagram, is not to show this as a tree, but to show this as groups, and to look for those overlaps within those groups. And remember, we're also staying within the realm of definitions. We're not talking about properties or conditions right now. We're just saying, but these are the definitions for these objects. If they get this name, this is what I know. If this is what I know. This is the name I apply. It goes both ways. Uh, let's see. If I look at the next level down, I still, I've got my rhombus on here. I still have to get me put this back up here for a second. I still have to get rectangle in there. And that's a subgroup of parallelogram. I also see, though, that it has some overlap with rhombus. So I should probably draw that. So I'll draw that inside. Parallelogram. Those are rectangles. That's OK. If you, if, you, if you drew it too small, you can always just put a dot and then draw a little arrow out so you know what that little overlap might be. A rectangle has four right angles. And by definition, it's also a parallelogram. And by definition, it's also a quadrilateral. And then that overlap with rhombus has a name. That's the square. square. The most specific shape I can get, the most difficult to define, is the square because it has four congruent sides and four right angles. 